Right then, fellas, how's it going? Now, you're probably thinking I'm a tramp for wearing this again, but it's just my, I do bits in this. I don't really give a shit if I get it dirty. It's my scrap clothes, pretty much. But, as promised, when I got a free and sunny day, I was gonna spray my grill. So, I'm gonna open the garage. So, as you can see, literally, the weather is perfect. So, I'm gonna spin the car around and crack on. Right, that's that. Now, I don't think I'm going to, um, I don't think I'm going to take the bumper off. I think I'm just going to mask around the grill, around the chrome. So, I think it's just easier and I can't be off spraying the middle bit red. So, I'm just going to do that. First things first, what you want to do is get yourself some glass cleaner or some sort of um, cleaner and a microfiber. And you just want to make sure that is as clean as you can get it. Right, now go get yourself some tissue and like clean the rest off, clean the glass cleaner off, if you know what I mean. So yeah. So yeah, with the tissue, you want to literally try and get that mirror finish if you're spraying chrome. See what I mean? You just want to get that mirror finish. And then once you've done that, you're pretty much ready. So what you're going to need is your spray. I'm using plastic dip. Some paper to mask around the actual grill and some masking tape to stick it around. So I'm gonna crack on with that and I'll just fast forward it, so. So for this bit just here, this awkward bit where there's no like, let me just take that bit off, where there's no like baseline kind of thing, I'm just going to put paper around as much as I can and then just fill the rest in with tape. So on that bit just pretty much do the best you can and yeah. Right, as I said boys, it just takes a bit of time and patience to do this but once you've done it, it should look something like this. Um, it just literally just time and patience that's all i can say there is no wrong or right way to do it but as i'm using plasti dip i don't need to be as careful because i can just scratch that or peel it off so yeah next stage is spraying it so let me crack on with that So boys, just finished coat number one and here's how it's looking. It's looking pretty sick already to be honest. And then that's gonna dry and then I'm gonna give it another coat. You want about three coats and then you wanna wait probably about 15 minutes between each coat. So I'm gonna stand here for 15 minutes and then I'm gonna do it again. All right, quick tip. You're probably wondering why there's all these paint splotches everywhere when I was spraying it for the first time. It's basically because I forgot to say, make sure you um, warm your can of Plastidip up before applying it. Make sure you, when you shake the can, 
the, the little ball bearing, you can hear the ball bearing, if you know what I mean. Because if not, then it comes out really blotchy and just doesn't look well. It, it doesn't kind of spray, it kind of spits. So just make sure that your, your can's warm before you start applying your coats. So I learned that the hard way, but like I said, it's plastic dip, you peel it straight off and try again, so yeah. So I didn't want to bore you and show you the same thing, but I'll just give it a second coat. And it's probably gonna need about three coats. There's still a bit of areas that are, uh, there's still a few areas that are blotchy. So I'm gonna give it probably one more coat and then uh, I'll start stripping the, the paper. Fuck off, twat. Then I'll start stripping the paper around it off. So yeah. So yeah boys, just finished off and to be honest, for eight quid, which is what the plastic dip um tin of plastic dip cost me, it's so worth it. It's turned out really well and it's so simple to do. I mean I didn't really like the front of these cars, hence why I got the Well I liked them but I weren't I preferred the back kind of thing, hence why I got the uh, eyelids, but now it just gives it such a different look and uh like I said for eight quid you can't really go wrong, so I'll put the link in the description. If you do want to buy some plastic dip, it's just on Amazon, so it's all safe to buy and shit like that. So, yeah. But if you did like the video, please be sure to smash that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next one. Peace. Oh!